Chris Carlin, Ray Lucas outside the Rutgers locker room following the 26-24 win over Michigan. The Scarlet Knights improved to 5-1 and one and get their first Big Ten win. Michigan loaded up against the run tonight. They run blitzed all night and dared Gary Nova to beat him. How did he do it? Well, again, let me talk about Michigan stopping nine guys at the line of scrimmage every single play on first and second down. Gary Nova, sensational today. Pinpoint accuracy all the way down the field, making the right decisions. The best play of the whole entire game inside the red zone, pushes a guy off of him, throws a touchdown. Uh, it, Unbelievable Gary Nova. He's got to get a lot of credit. Listen, quarterbacks, we take a lot of credit when we don't play well. <laughs> Gary Nova deserves all of the credit today. And Andrew Terzilli. Here's a young man that has come in as a one-year player, as a transfer for his fifth year, and all of a sudden, this guy's making big plays. Every game, he seems to find the biggest touchdown catch of the play. It was a great call by Ralph Friesen, who I've said to you, Chris, many a times, is the best many Rutgers had spent up to this point. But Terzilli has to be taken notice, has to get in the game plan. He just seems to make the big play every single week. Now, on the flip side, defensively, little bend but don't break. Made some plays when they had to tonight. What did you see from the defense? Again, after that first series where they went right down and the, the, the last one before the game ended, I thought the defense played exceptionally well. They were 4-11 on third down, Michigan was, which is terrible in your third down thing. That means you're not converting on third. That means you're not sustaining drive. So, again, after the first drive, I thought, you know, Coach Joe Rossi, the defensive coordinator, played, did a very good job of changing the game plan, and they came up and made a lot of sticks. And when they needed the biggest play of them all, it was Kamoko Ture again with the block kick at the end of the game. What do you expect, really? I mean, I almost expect the block kick every single time Rutgers play, so I wasn't too surprised. But Kamoko Ture looked up like he looked like he was a Kim Olajuwon knocking <laughs> that ball down. Now Rutgers goes into the bye week, and in two weeks they travel to Columbus, Ohio, to face the Ohio State Buckeyes. For Ray Lucas... I'm Chris Carlin outside the locker room after Rutgers' 26-24 win over Michigan right here on ScarletKnights.com.